just just the best. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator today. I'm coming to you with a bit of weirdness, uh, straight from Japan, which is right next door to where we are, uh, at least where I am. <laughs> and I spent a little bit of time there, I still don't know what the hell they're gonna be saying in these commercials, but there are a shit ton of weird commercials to come out of Japan, so why not sit down, take a little look at them, see how it goes. So, uh, boot it up, boot it up. Alright, creepy man in dog suit, sure. Consume, consume. Okay, so basically the twist there is that the dog is is a space alien, but the the twist on the twist is that he was actually a fucking alien all all along. I hate it. I've tried Calbee chips. They ain't too bad, but this commercial I don't think it's gonna make anybody buy anything. Meiji so basically this one takes place inside of a, a Yakuza boss's basement, I'm pretty sure. They have a, a gun pointed at her and they're just like, sing the fucking song! And she's got a look on her face that's uh, like crying out for help to her family or something. Like, I don't know. It's a weird duality going on in this commercial. I, I don't know if it's supposed to make me uncomfortable, but it does in a way. And I don't think I'll, I'll be buying their chocolate twists anytime soon, no matter how many fake flowers you throw at me. <laughs> I just want that fucking Bruce Willis thing as like my wallpaper forever. I can't believe they, they got Bruce Willis to do this. This is pretty pretty outstanding. I don't know what it cost them. I've never even heard of this of this uh car company. So I'm I'm pretty impressed. And I wonder if Bruce Willis knows how to speak Japanese or if they just like coached him on what to say. Uh apparently Bruce Willis does a lot of commercials in Japan, so I guess he's big in Japan. Who knew? I always think of him as just like a kind of aging relic, but <laughs> apparently there's still some love for for Bruce Willis out there that isn't related to Die Hard. The the greatest Christmas movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, he's got bananas coming out of his ears. He's got banana as a hat. I guess. Not really a hat. Maybe like a banana mohawk? Banana fingers? Banana mustache? <laughs> <laughs> and then he shoots bananas out of his nose. That's that's something only only Japan could come up with, I swear. <laughs> at least at least they didn't have him, you know, shoot bananas out of his pants. I guess that joke would be a little bit obvious. Nobody's expecting the nose. <laughs> the nose nose. But uh yeah. I guess if it was coming out of his pants it would be a Chiquita, not a dole. <laughs> oh, is that racist? Never mind. Moving on. I'm a drum, a rotten up bone, heaven and shiny shoes. Quick place picking and I'm waiting, moving out. I ain't got no more. My precious baby came from. What the fuck did I just watch? I have no idea what that was what that was about, what that was for. We came here together as one and forever where all of your dreams come true. I'm 
たりはいつだってあなたを待っている夢が叶う場所東京ディズニーリゾートおおデューデ Right in the feels. That's, that's so depressing, <laughs> in a way. There's this little girl, and they trap her in Walt Disney World, and she basically has to meet a, a guy there, and have a kid there, and then she grows old and dies, all inside Walt Disney World. Doesn't it make you feel something? Especially with the animation style and stuff, and the music, and it's just, oh, Disney. Disney, you might be an evil corporate monster, but you know how to tug at the heartstrings, so. I gotta give them that. They're doing pretty good over there. Dang. I've never seen it in like a, an anime style. It wouldn't probably be a huge hit in the West. Or maybe it would and you'd just have like a bunch more otakus at Disney World. No, who am I kidding? They don't get out of the house. <laughs> ah, got him. All right. Oh! Throwback. Ne <laughs> ne. モンスター全部で150種類通信ケーブルでモンスター取り替えっこスーパーゲームボーイならカラーできれい仲間が増えるロールプレイングポケットモンスター赤を買うか緑を買うかちょっと違うよスーパーゲームボーイポケットモンスター。Yeah, get in there and catch yourself a, a cat girl, or whatever the hell that was. <laughs> They're trying to use, like, a sex appeal to sell a children's video game, which... I don't know about that. <laughs> or maybe it's not really... Can we play that back? We're just gonna play that back one more time. It is. It is. I was like, maybe I'm just the one、uh, sexualizing it, but no. It's pretty obvious. It's like a, a woman in thigh highs and a, a short skirt, and she's like in front of a bunch of old men. You better believe those old men are gonna go out and buy Pocket Monster. Regardless of the commercial, I would have bought that shit anyways. Matter of fact, I did. Matter of fact, spent the last fucking 20 years playing that, and I have no regrets. Not even one. Oh, and that, and that sound at the end. What a. <laughs> it just brings back every memory of childhood. My god. Ah. <sighs> Game Boy. Big, big gray brick. I miss you. That's true. Graphite Kendo. Graphite Simpan. Graphite Chiagar. Grapto Kite. Graphite Kokak. Graphite Stren. Graphite Kanashimi no Ame. Graphite Tayon K. Graphite Megane. Grapto Kite. Graphite Kokak 2. Graphite Mechu. Graphite Duet. Graphite Propose. Graphite Chichino Hantai. Graphite Tsmaranai Mono Desga. Graphite OK. Graphite Kaki Newto. Chinamini Graphite was sharp shin des. Graphite. Shin Tojo des. Oh god. <laughs> graphite commercial. First of all, who's gonna advertise some graphite? Like, I guess, I guess mechanical pencil companies gotta get theirs too. But, I don't know, man. Who's, who's out there actively being swayed by an advertisement for graphite? It is a really good advertisement though. I, I love the, the different uses that they have for it. Some of them, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. And I still love it. Graphite glasses, graphite wedding ring, graphite microphone, graphite kendo, graphite cigarette. Oh man, you want to smoke a graphite cigarette. There's pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp, coconut shrimp, pepper shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. Just, just the best. Cutscene from Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. And then, after that,、uh, everybody turns into fucking candy. <laughs> Again, they're,、uh, they're tr trying to sell candy, presumably to children, and、uh, using women in bikinis to do it, which, I, I don't know, Japan is kind of fucked up. <laughs> you know, sex is not okay. Violence? That's cool. You can shoot somebody on TV, no problem. 
But uh, if there's chicks in bikinis, then then that's it. That's that's gonna be the end. We don't like that. Oh, I know what it is. AKB48. It's like a a J-pop band that has like at least 48 members or something like that. I don't know who the fucking Elvis lookalike with the pompadour is, but maybe he's got something to do with it. I don't know. I'm still probably not going to buy that candy, though. Dude. Dude. You can't just chop Godzilla in half. You can't. That, that's not cool at all. See? See what you did? Now you got all these Godzilla babies! <laughs> They're coming for that ass. I'm gonna tell you right now. You better watch out. I don't know what was... What what was being advertised? I heard Suica, which is like a cell phone service, but uh, I don't have the the slightest clue, which seems to be a theme here. <laughs> Fabi, Furby's big in Japan too, I guess. I don't know when this commercial's from. 2012. Okay, so that's like the new line of Furbies. Not the one with the LED eyes. Is that... What the fuck? Was I 20 when Furby came out? No way. No way. Man. I think I'm old. Shit. Nishimo, Futo, 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 <laughs> oh, this is what your body does every time you eat Nissen, Nissen Instant Ramen. I really like the fact that they use mostly fat guys in this commercial. They did put two skinny boys in the front, but if you look at the the whole skeleton, I guess it would be. If you look at the skeletons as a whole, the they're mostly thick boys, which is good, you know. If you got a bunch of thick boys in your bones, you ain't gonna break no bones. I don't know who the little girl in the red dress is. Maybe that's the heart, or the brain, or... I'm maybe reading too deep into this. Maybe it's just a bunch of fucking fat dudes doing a silly dance. <laughs> that seems a bit more likely. By Nissan Ramen! Sponsored by Nissan Ramen. It's definitely a cell phone commercial, but it, it went in, uh, I can't even talk. It went in the direction that I did not expect at all. Basically a, a subway samurai and then he assaults a woman. Look at this phone on my arm. You gotta get a good look. Don't you want to buy it now? It's like, no. I guess if that, if I, if buying it means that I don't have to watch it off of your arm, with you walking menacingly towards me, then yeah, I'll, I'll probably invest in that. Okay, no problem. But it's, it, it's a weird way to go about selling it, Japan. I just want to let you know, it makes me a little uncomfortable, as most things. I guess, I guess I'm guess i not in the demographic, so that that all stands to reason. Come in, come in, come in, come in, so awesome. come in, come in. I do actually un understand what is being said in the song. Kame is turtle, so it's basically just saying turtle, turtle, turtle. Then they trip a fucking Power Ranger, or or 
what do you call it? Uh, it's like Voltus 5, Big Bad Beetleborgs, VR Troopers, the Power Rangers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then, uh, once they're done beating the shit out of him, the, the turtle and his girlfriend, they're like, actually, have a fruit snack. Really interesting. I mean, I guess kids would enjoy this candy commercial more than some of the other candy commercials that, <laughs> that I've discovered here. <laughs> I love the, just the extreme lengths that they'll go to. Um, you know, woman running out of whatever the fuck this is, puts the refrigerator on her back, runs to the middle of the jungle, and I don't know what this little chocolate man is doing. He's just living his happy little chocolate man life. And she's like, I'm going to put you in a fucking jar. I'm going to put you in the jar and you're going in the freezer. She basically murdered him. That's what we just witnessed. And I think that's the saddest thing of all. <laughs> Damn! This kid got no fear. He's like, I don't give a fuck about you, mannequin. I don't give a fuck about you, light pole. Zebra, come and get it. Fuck yeah, dude. He's been watching too much wrestling with his dad. And then the dad's like, drink more milk. You're gonna be strong. But he still can't knock that light pole over, though. Just saying. Oh my god, she just turned all of those construction workers into transgender. <laughs> Don't eat this gum near construction workers. <laughs> we need to... <laughs> Do you know how many construction workers I had to fire this week? <laughs> because they all turned into petite women. <laughs> and I found out from the manager that we can't even fire him anymore. It's a hate crime. <laughs> Please stop chewing lot, latte, lot. I think it's just lot, lot gum. You're chewing a lot gum. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, it's an enjoyable commercial though. Sure, why not? Go ahead, dance it out. <laughs> From one lot commercial to another, this one is definitely meant for the men, I suppose. If you're in a business suit and rip your fucking sleeves off, you know they mean business. And you can only do that if you chew this green mint gum. <laughs> I kind of actually really enjoy the aesthetic of it too, you know. Like they pulled a movie out of the 70s and uh, had some dudes beat the shit out of each other. That's always good. You can't go wrong with that. Like I said, uh, violence... Violence is okay, sex is not. It's got a Warner Bros. trademark in the corner? What the fuck? What movie is this? <laughs> if you know, please leave a comment. Moving on. Hey Japan, you gotta stop it with the kids snacks, with the with the women dress up like animals, with the 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 skimpy outfits and the and the selling snacks to your kids. What's up with this? Why you gotta do this? I don't understand. At least it's not a cat. I'll say that much. Cat girls? Psh, it's been done. Rabbit girls? Mm-hmm. We're in the new decade now. We gotta... <laughs> we gotta graduate. We gotta grow up. And we grow up by going lower in the food chain. So after rabbit girls, it's probably gonna be... I don't know, a celery lady or something like that. 
I, I, I'd be into it. Why not? Sure. You know, gives a new meaning to tossing the salad. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. White people are like aliens in Japan. And he's like, oh my god, Meiji chocolate! Give me more! And dude's like, I got it from Earth. And the little dude's like, I'm gonna fucking fart and propel my way to Earth. <laughs> and that is how white people colonized <laughs> planet Earth. It's all thanks to Meiji chocolate. So big shout out to you, Meiji chocolate! Because I didn't want to live on the moon no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're businessmen. Having a big business meeting. Let us talk about business things. Oh no, it's the lady with pudding in her hat! <laughs> Everybody look out! Yeah, I, I dig it. I, I thought at first I was like, oh, it's just another sexualized uh, kid snack. But it's not that at all. It's a business snack for businessmen. <laughs> so buy some fucking pudding. <laughs> so friends, I'm going to dig up some more interesting commercials, uh, interesting TV shows. We can try and focus on some, some multimedia entertainment, not just gaming. So I hope that you'll enjoy that. Don't forget to like, comment. And to subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I shall see you in the next one, friends. Also, check out the Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you'd like to get in touch with me a little further. Or if you just want to hang out, that's cool too. Uh, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon, as always. Thank you guys so much. This has been Crazy Japanese Commercials. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye one two three four goodbye goodbye see you again goodbye goodbye see you my friends